Hello everybody, my name is Magnus, welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. Last really we left off, we fought a pretty pretty decent battle. Uh, got Higgins, the paladin, uh, which we'll see his stats later on. Uh, and we enter the town of Pakalon. Uh, so we're going to go through and explore a few things here. Uh, probably do a lot of exploration before getting into a battle. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I forget what's all... What items are where, but... I'm hungry. Yeah, but Pekalon's not doing great. Because <laughs> I need a medical herb right now. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I need that Buster Sword. Uh, but we are going to have to say goodbye to... I uh, will put it over here. Uh, goodbye to our friend Slade. Uh, once we get to that point. Uh, but I'll go through and talk about... Uh, I'll talk about Higgins right now. So he's a level 7 pal paladin, so if you go through the levels, it's like, okay, he's uh, joining at a decent level uh, in comparison to everybody else that I have, so that's that's pretty nice, right? Uh, and then you look at the rest of his stats, you go, well, why? <laughs> now, he does have more... Uh, is he a higher level? He is a higher level. Uh, he does have some more hit points and attack than Rick uh, with... But you notice that his defense is even worse, and the same thing with his agility. Uh, so, Rick is not a bad paladin. Uh, Higgins generally is. <laughs> uh, I think my Rick is just a little under leveled because uh, normally he would have uh, like if you if you have them at the same level, I think Rick ends up having like one less attack, maybe, maybe. Uh, so he. He's gonna be all right, though. We'll be, we'll be fine. You're not devils, are you? How did you get here safely? What will we do when we lose? Man, that, that, try to try to have some confidence. Are you strong? Will you kill? Please kill the devils. It's just dark inside there. Uh, maybe get some new equipment though. Uh, and repair. I have to repair. All right, let's go. Boom. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out what the black ring does. Uh, are the evil ring? Is it the black ring or the evil ring? It's black ring. Okay. What that does again? Uh, I'm not intending on equipping it. Let's just <laughs> let's just put that. Uh, or state that there. There we go. Let's see here. Alright, so now we have the great swords. Fantastic. Uh, so increase our attack by much more. It is very costly though, so that's unfortunate. Uh, sorry, Slade, you don't get it. Man, Jaha would have been still great at this point in time. Just look at that. Alright, so heavy lance. Uh, let's see how it compares with the javelin here. Oh! It does not. Why are you still selling it then? Jesus. Oh, uh, we've got nobody that, that uses that. Uh, that yet, that uses the large axe right now. Uh, great shot. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> oh, I've got, I mean, I've got so many people that use it. It's a bunch of money, though. Um, oh, I don't even know if I have the money for it. Uh, Give it to Elric for right now. Um, do I already have power glove on her? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, so I, have to, I do have to sell some things. <sighs> Man, I ran out of money somewhere. Uh, which is not good. Alright. Uh, so we got that. Sell, sell these all shells. At least I get a decent amount of money back from that. Buster Sword. I'll save that Blizzard for something else, sometime else, uh, when I need it. Yep. Sorry, Slade. You're weaponless now. And then that Buster Sword. That should be just enough to be able to, uh, to buy here. So normally, I think that people, 
I go on the assumption that when people go through and play uh, a casual playthrough of this game is maybe like replaying I can just go through and sell that one uh, maybe replaying a battle once let's say on average each time and it could either be for hey I kind of want to grind a little just just a little bit because uh, I'm feeling weak or that uh so I just just need to buy Janet back. Yeah. or maybe they died uh, because the battles can be challenging Uh, that's kind of the assumption that I... Oops. A statue of fine soldier. Um, and generally, if you do that, uh, the kind of the, the dying and everything balances out. and uh, Most of the time, you're not going to be worried too much about... Uh, about running out of money. I don't think that's a normal concern for everybody. It can be when you're doing this type of playthrough, though. Pekalon soldiers are so proud, but they're just cowards that hide in that castle. Uh, I forget if there's anything that's kind of around here. You never know what's over in the well. No water there. Alright, now we're inside the castle. Uh, but yeah, so... This, you can really run into problems because every single time that I replay battle, it's because I'm gonna die almost but most of the time it's Bowie dying and I lose half my gold so just imagine if I had just all that gold back from when I did the chess battle devils are coming to town okay I'll beat them up oh that looked glitchy oh I can't so too hungry yeah they're just they're just wasting away Brave Beklons, none at all. There are no soldiers who can fight against the devils. It's a locked door. But wait. Oh yeah, there's that part. Uh, I forget how you get to certain things here. Oh, there we go. That's how you get to the treasury. So that's the locked door. Woo! Mithril! Oh, I forgot that I, I had that uh, cheerful bread. Um, you can use the cheerful bread. Janet can use the cheerful bread. <laughs> She's really low on HP. Um, there we go. That works out fine. Yeah, this, you gotta look for those hidden spots and walls and everything in this game, which is fine. It's it's kind of that that RPG aspect of it. Um, you know, with the, with the exploration, you are rewarded for attempting to explore things, clicking a bunch of things. It's been dry here since the devils appeared. Must have done something to God as Machula. There's nothing there. Alright. Alright, so there's also the... The Pegasus Wing. Um, it's the bottom of the car, walk down it on the right, and then search the wall. Or is it this wall? There we go. There's the Pegasus Swing. So, if you have, uh, uh, whether it's Rick, Chester, uh, or Eric, uh, they can use the Pegasus Swing to promote into a Pegasus Knight. Uh, that is way better when it comes to the fact that they can move because uh, they can fly now. Uh, the problem that they run into is that they generally get a little bit less defense as Pegasus Knight and they are 
flying, so they don't get the the defense bonus of it. Uh, so generally, we'll use it to uh, have them keep up with units and keep on the side, help boosting others. Uh, but in this case, I don't have anybody that can use it now uh, because I did all of my promotions already. But I mean, imagine Rick not having a javelin right now. He would not be that high of a level, and so he'd be well behind so the flying wouldn't benefit us. What happened to the soldiers who went to the Mutual Shrine? Were they all killed? Uh, I guess what we're going to next. Or soon, anyway. And I don't think... I think there's just, like, one other thing in here. Uh, but in either case... Yeah, we'll just go around. We'll get on with the story. Actually, I think there might be something over here. Hey, there's a priest. I see a route through the mountains where you can go to north from here. You'd get to Tristan by traveling along that route. Yeah, this is just very weirdly laid out. But, that's okay. We're over here. Higgins asked you to drop by here? Thank you. May I ask you for a favor? Please save Machula. She's in Tristan. We will be ruined by the drought long before the devils destroy us. I committed a sin. I abandoned the people of Moon to protect the Parmesia continent. Alright. And there we go. And then we'll continue on. That's just me not paying attention. And that is it for Pakalon. Alright. Uh, but I am not set up yet for this, because I do have to... Oh my god, <laughs> uh, Sir Astral's voice changes as you go through here. Um, Alright, man, I really wish I could get Kazen Mac, because he was a powerhouse for me. Uh, but we are choosing Higgins, and unfortunately saying goodbye to Slade. Ah, uh, you've served me well, Slade. And nobody else. I have. Okay, so. Uh, I do have a running pimento. I forgot that I stored that. Uh, I will give that to somebody. Oh, I know what I'm waiting on. I know what I'm waiting on. Uh, so I'm waiting on for some other characters to to come our way. Uh, so I have Higgins. Uh, so Higgins is is our first guy that we have that is on our permanent team. Uh, so. It'll take a little bit before we have all of our permanent team coming through, but I'm saving an item like this for somebody on the permanent team. I mean, I could always gift a Bowie, because uh, technically this could have been a Bowie solo run, uh, but that's not the way that I was going about this. Uh, okay. Now we'll go into the battle, uh, probably not finish it up, but it'll be alright. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? Don't you know about the restrictions? Even if you didn't know, that's just too bad. Nah, I'm the wrong two. Two, two, and two, guys. You gotta get it right. Alright, but we do have the, the mighty Higgins on our side. He does have a, quite the epic mustache there. I love it. Uh, <laughs> and we'll see how good he does for me now. Me having 5,000 gold right now really sucks. Uh, but hopefully killing some of these guys will be good without having to spend so much. Uh, this is a new enemy. Uh, <laughs> we start getting into just ridiculous levels of power at this point in time. This is what makes this part of the game so frustrating. Uh, frustratingly difficult on super. Is that every other... 
all the other stats on on the monsters and everything is fine because it doesn't change uh and you're able to get through it you know especially if you have some time to, to level up and everything but 90 attack are you kidding me what well, we've got like 36 32 31 uh, 45 at most. I should have sold the, the Pegasus Wing, but... Uh, 41. There, like, that's... That's 50 damage! That's just, just one-shotting my team. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. Uh, about these guys. Um... And they have seven movements. They're flying. They just suck. And that's just the reality that we're going to have for the rest of this game. Is that... Once we get out of this battle, almost every enemy is going to be like that, uh, that doesn't have a weapon. You notice the, the massive difference, and it's because, the, so the Wyvern would normally have 72 attack, but because we're in that super difficulty, and it's increased, and it's they are weaponless, they just get a huge bonus, whereas the Dark Sniper, let's say, has originally 53 attack, and it's only increased by 3 because the weapon gives them majority of that attack. Uh, but in either case, that we enter in this battle, uh, we have to kill this Lizardman. Uh, more than likely, we're going to have to face those two Wyverns before we get there, unless I go a very specific route around here. And even then, uh, I don't know if that'll cause the Wyvern to charge. Uh, haven't looked into it that much. Uh, there's no massive need to look into it that much. Uh, let's just go through and hunt down with me. Doing 13 damage. Pretty respectable at this point in time. Uh, for this. Again, soloers! Solo runner- or not solo runners. Uh, speed runners would, would say differently. Uh, but they have a very specific way of going about things. Uh, and they actually grind. Believe it or not. In order to uh, speed run this game, you have- uh, you basically go through and grind with Peter uh, in the bonus map and make them powerful. Yeah, I repaired everything. Okay. I had to just double check in my head what was going on. Um, and, and so if you don't do that, you don't get the... Uh, of course a crack appears right off the bat. Um, uh, yeah, if you don't go through and do that grind, uh, please survive, may please survive. <laughs> that would have been a massive loss for me. Um, so, uh, it was kind of risky doing that. That's my own fault. But it's okay now. Um, yeah, so if you don't go through and grind, uh, you just don't have the, the attack power to get through everything. I mean, Bowie's one of my best guys, and he just did 15 points of damage. It's not great. Alrighty. He doesn't care where he is. Higgins does. And... Okay, I mean he's doing a respectable amount of damage to these type of guys. Um, and we're just gonna have to keep, you know, trying to use them here. Um, I think, yeah, so, he boosted those guys. Um, not that May isn't in any more danger, but I know I have at least three guys, like, so the, the turn isn't, isn't redone yet. So let's go through and boost these guys, and I might be able to, with all that increased agility, uh, out-turn the, the Dark Sniper, so that way I don't have to worry about healing at this point in time. And that was a pretty weak level up. Ones across the board is not what I'm looking for. Right, so the question is, do, does Elric go through and do this? Or does he boost up Gerhalt? In fact, actually, I... Th Elric, are you close to some experience now? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna go through and boost up uh, Gerhalt. And just send him in. Because right now he's actually... Oh, you've got to be kidding me! 
immediately? Come on. Alright. Alright. I see what you're trying to do, game. Ah, uh, Janet. Oh! Well, that solved that problem anyway. Good job, Janet. There you go. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> either way. Gerhalt's boosted up, and I, he can take on that, uh, that Dark Sniper there. Then we have Bowser. Who does nothing. Ooh, do I even... No. No, that's not needed. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're gonna go here. Okay, so there's no danger there. I'll, I'll hit that group next. hit this Dark Sniper, or Dark Sniper, Dark Soldier, and they're just getting 10 experience each time, which is sad. Alright, actually this is a good spot for for Luke, as long as I'm not baiting anything else. Alright, so I'm not baiting anything else, that guy's way out there, so that's fine. This is how I want to take on these groups. Just little bits at a time. I took away that mountain from him. At least Luke is boosted, so it's like he's on a mountain. Uh, we can move on with our lives. Higgins has the ability to at least do some damage here. Eight points? Alright, that's respectable. I'll, I'll take that, Higgins. Not getting the experience, though. Then Gerhal will finish it out. Uh, but he has the movement in case we actually can bait some guys over on the left side to get over there. Uh, yep. Another two attack it, but that's fine. I'll take it. Right. Here's a healing moment. I can't wait until I can get Aura. Now I'm doing a basic level heal. Because she's going to be able to do this over uh, a couple of turns. While everybody's already boosted, and no, we're not. I don't want to worry about that part. So I'm going to kind of try to avoid that other Wyvern on the right side. I'm going to see if going on the left side actually does uh, prevent them from uh, prevent it from coming over and if it does get activated and it starts darting over I'm gonna find a way to deal with it one on one or not one on one but uh, whether it's baiting or then losing only one guy or making him go all the way over and then us attack uh, so what a, what's the factor here so he's the factor because he's got the most move and range here so you go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three is where he hits, so that's an optimal spot to bait. That's a chance safe over here. Alright, so and the Dark Soldier moves, which is alright, he's not the he's not the the one there. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, one of the quality of life things that would be great in this is uh he's got 45 defense. Is he boosted? He is not. Um, but he won't die anyway. So, I, ca I can heal him up. It's fine. Uh, one of the quality of life things that would be great that uh, Fire Emblem has late later on games. Uh, I mean, just just think about this. Like, this is 1993. <laughs> uh, so, quality of life things are not, are not their forte. Is this a... I mean, I'd rather sacrifice Bowser than somebody else gets hit, so... Um, let's just move her over here. She can get the movement as needed. I'll just go here. Alright, so they moved one down, which does make them a factor now. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay, so we're still safe in this spot. How much does this Lizardman move? It's not much. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? At most, that. Which I don't think he's got that full movement. I can place Higgins there, and he, he'll be alright. He'll live. No matter what, so. Alright, so he can't quite dart there yet. Keep your... Yes. Okay, yeah, so. He does have that reduction there, but it is move six, so that's something nice to note. Alright. 
We're starting to lose our boosts, but we'll just do another turn of healing. There we go. Alrighty. So now they're going to start going through. Yep. Targeting Bowser. Bye, Bowser. It's fine. So, but this, I, I'll, I will admit that Bowser can be used. Uh, and he's a fun unit to use. Uh, because the he gets such a high defense and his attack gets boosted by so much from the power ring. That he becomes extremely... He gets all of those things massively boosted up. Um, so he's a, he's a fun guy to use. It just is useless in this type of thing. But he just didn't get the level ups that he needed to. He's not very powerful. And his defense isn't enough to stop the regular attacks in general. Like, even if he was leveling up going through... He's leveling up, uh, the defense is not, uh, being gained at the same rate as the attack is increasing. Like, I wouldn't imagine him having 90 defense at this point in time if he kept up levels, because, I mean, think about it, he could only gain, like, let's say that he was level 6, if I'm being generous. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I would have preferred a blaze there. Let's go through and just protect her a little bit. Get rid of that mage, though. Uh, but imagine if, let's say that I promote him at, like, level 24. So I'm gonna give him that, so it's another 12 levels, and then he was, in, like, level 7. Alright, so 12, so that's 19 levels. You think that he was gonna gain that much defense? No. There's no way that that was going to happen. So, he can be useful, especially if you keep him boosted up, if you keep, because it gets increased by a ton, but you have to really micromanage that part. Uh, so, it's just, you just, he's just a very hard unit to use uh, in, in this difficulty. In a normal difficulty, uh, I would absolutely, as the attack is return to normal, boost, return to normal. This is where all my guys become crap again. Uh, but I can take out this Dark Soldier, I think. Uh, Luke may or may not be able to do it. Oh, wait, no, he got the new sword. That's right. He's good. <laughs> no! Oh, I got outturned. Uh, no. I needed Janet. I needed her to gain some levels, because she was actually becoming pretty good. What I might do is actually trade out the power ring for her, uh, because Elric is not even being able to reach guys on time, let alone have the attack power to do anything. Uh, but that just makes him a useless unit, but th I think that's kind of fine in this case. Really. Uh, sometimes it's okay to have a useless unit. And that was the unit that I was going to heal, too. Um, we'll just do this. I might later on give Karna the uh, the running ring so she has the ability to, to run around and do the things I need her to do. Alright, we're going to go through and attack here. Hey, Higgins gets a kill. There we go. Yep, all my boosts are expiring. Okay. Yeah, if I give the power ring over to Janet, she can once she can move better. Uh, but she will do more damage, and she's already one of the better like she's already the better uh, damage dealer out of all the archers. Peter's Peter doesn't care. All right, so let's. I know I just placed all my guys. Before. Six. Okay. Uh, so I am safe going six. 
six. So not safe going there, but I am safe going here. Oh, no, don't want to do that because I I need to boost my myself. Luke will go ahead and help out here because Peter apparently uh, needs some help hitting. He will wait to be a... Oh, yep. He'll wait to be a missile. And now those guys are kind of coming through. Uh, so I actually need to bait, is what I need to do. Because I need to get this guy all the way over. He needs one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can attack there. Or I can... Let me get him over in the terrain. I'll let him attack Bowie, because he's not going to kill Bowie. There we go. Alright. And... I'll go through just a little bit. I'll see if I can bait this guy and take him out, and then I'll see what happens with the rest of the group here. Uh, does, does Rick have any more higher defenses? Um, it, generally, yeah, so... Well, if I do a 38 plus, yeah. I was going to find out the land effect is a reduction of damage and not necessarily a uh, a defense increase. But the reduction of damage still affect. Like, if you, if you look at it, at the way the numbers work out, the higher your defense is, the more that that you benefit from that reduction of damage. And I really messed up that protect formation or that boost formation, but I needed to get the hell out of there. We're gonna boost up these guys, they'll be fine. As long as Karna keeps going up in levels, I'll be okay. She can occasionally go in there and attack. I need to, that's what I do need to do with her, uh, so that way she gets some kill experience. It's not that bad. Uh, safe there. Oh, well then. She can be here. She can take the hit if she needs to. She's actually really good, so... Let's get these guys up. More experience. I'm good with that. Let's just keep... Create a huge defense and death here. So, once that Lizardman comes over... He's, he's gonna die. Alright, so he went after her? That's fine. Oof. No, 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 no! You've gotta be kidding me! She just boosted up and everything! God! That... That sucks so much. Her and Janet right now. I've gotta... I'm gonna be careful with Bowie. So, because I do have my last resort of, I will go through and retreat. I have no problems with that if Bowie is the last one and I'm going to die. Um, that is just... That is always a reservation for my end, because... I could just let Bowie die, but that's just only going to make it pain more painful for no freaking reason. More painful than it already is, because a playthrough like this, most people would not do. Uh, let's just let's just put that out there. No, nobody does this. Uh, they, or if they do this, they'll they'll allow themselves a grind so they can use those other units. All right. So I know sending Higgins out there like that is a terrible option, but okay. In any case, now that I've done that stupid move, uh, I am left with uh, oh interesting party. Uh, but this is enough time for this round. Uh, we will continue on next time through this battle, and there's pretty much a battle almost immediately after this, too. Uh, so, we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, in either case, my name's Sid Magnus. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe so you can continue to get updated on whenever my content comes back up. Uh, I try to keep it as regular as possible every Friday. Uh, if, if you also like this, please put a comment and a like down below, and let me know what you think about this. Is Higgins going to be the savior of my run? Who knows? I definitely don't. In any case, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.